Hello, this is Mr. T. In this uh, calculus tutorial, we're going to be finding the relative extrema of a function using our first derivative test. To find the relative extrema for using the first derivative test, we first want to find the critical values of f of x. Critical values are defined as the values of x that make the first derivative equal to zero or make the first derivative uh, undefined. So obviously we need to find our first derivative. So using our derivative rules we can find f prime of x. So the derivative of 2x would be 2. And using our power rule the derivative of the next term would be negative. So we have 3 times 2 thirds which is 2 x and now we subtract 1 from the exponent so negative 1 third. Now we want to solve this for equal to 0 and also find undefined values. Best way to do this is we want to rationalize this um, function so I'm going to use uh, GCF factoring to factor out a 2 x to the negative 1 third and we'll find our leftovers by dividing each of these terms by our GCF. So when we divide here, the 2's cancel out, and we get an x to the positive one-third. And here, the GCF and that term are identical, so we get 1. And we can get rid of our negative exponent by taking that to the denominator, and we end up with our first derivative in this format here. And we want to solve that for equal to zero for finding our critical values. To solve a rational function for equal to zero, we set the numerator equal to zero. So we need to find the value of x that makes x to the one-third minus one equal to zero. That may be obvious to you that that's going to be x equals one, but maybe this number had been different, so we could set that equal to zero add 1 to the other side, and then cube both sides of the equation, and we get x equals 1. And we need to find, so that's one of our critical values, we also are interested in points that make this undefined, which means makes the denominator equal to 0. Well, 0 to the 1 third would be 0, so zero, f of prime of x is undefined at x equals 0. So that's our second critical value. Now to find relative extrema, we are going to organize our critical values on a number line. And we are going to evaluate numbers from each of these test intervals into the first derivative. So if I put a large negative number into the derivative here, I'm going to have 2, which is positive, times this will be a negative number and on the bottom if I put a large negative number there I will have negative so I have positive negative negative is increasing let's pick 0.5 in to here so 2 is positive 0.5 into here will be uh, 0.5 to the one-third is less than 1 so we have a negative number and on the denominator, 0.5 to the one-third power cube root of that would be positive. So now we're decreasing. And let's put a big positive number in here, so we're going to end up with positive, positive over positive, which is increasing. We can see for looking at our patterns of increasing, decreasing, increasing, that at x equals 0, we're going to have a relative maximum. And here we're going to have a relative minimum. So our relative max, we need to find the y value, so we put 0 back into the original function. So if we put 0 into this original function, oh, sorry, over here, original function, we get 0. So we have a max at 0. And our relative min, if I put 1 into the original function, I'm going to have 2 minus 3 or negative 1. So that's our uh, relative min. So again, we found these y values by putting these x values into our original function. Thank you.